I'm Chris Bailey Kellogg. I'm Carl Griswold. And we're working together combining computation and experiment. Ultimately, the idea is that we want to develop novel protein-based therapeutic agents for treating human disease. When I finished up my PhD, I was wondering, where can computers really make an impact in the world? And the thing that jumped out at me at that time is there's this amazing molecular machinery that goes on in our cells. And computers can help understand how that machinery works. Um, they can help analyze the data that gives insights into that. And they can even help, in, in this case, uh, modify that machinery to be more effective in different ways. And, and that just totally inspired me to, to dive into that field. Uh, over the course of my um, graduate work and my postdoctoral work, I had accumulated seven years of experience uh, developing what amounts to large combinatorial libraries in the wet lab, um, which again requires an immense investment of time and effort. And sometimes these experiments don't yield any results whatsoever. Chris's expertise in computation and in developing algorithms is facilitating our wet work in the laboratory and making our work much easier. Often such therapeutics are designed with a lot of extensive work in the wet lab and what we're trying to do is to use computation to really guide those experiments to improve the hit rate and to make them more effective. Among all those possibilities we want to select a small set that are actually worth Carl's time and efforts to test in the wet lab. Manufacturing, producing, purifying, and testing the proteins in the wet lab requires a, a great deal of invested time and expense by predicting which proteins might be most effective as therapeutic agents. We can ease the uh, time required to develop these things in the lab. So I have a graduate student, Andrew Scott Parker, who's been developing the computational methods that do this optimization. And the Newcomb Institute is funding his research efforts um, to do the development of the algorithms. To get the first PhD student cranking out the methods to get the initial tests in Carl's wet lab. Um, to get the preliminary results we need to convince other people that the method has uh, significant scope, significant power, and is gaining traction. In the future, there's absolutely no question that computation will play a major role in biomolecular engineering.